and welcome. Uh, not such a good weekend for many reasons. Uh, I think it started from Friday night on the forum when a lot of memes about were knocking about from the forum and a lot of Mickey Techie were getting gone. But we're going to be focusing on Oxford game. Ryan, uh, great that you can join me. Um, I want to say we did start, but I've just been talking off air, looking at the lineup when it came out. It did look decent. You know, Dallas were coming in, new kid to get uh, to give any more coming in. So I'm thinking many, many fans, you know, seeing Philip start as well. Many fans yeah. are kind of like saying, do you know what? It looks a decent start in 11, Ryan. Yeah, it did. It did look a decent start in 11. It looked the strongest lineup at season so far, to be fair. Mm. And then we went and put worst performance in at season so far um, by, by by a long way. Just mm. not, not, not good enough. I'm not going to start hitting panic button yet saying, you know, I saw a lot of stuff online last night saying we're going into League 2 and stuff like that. Of, of course we're not. But... <sighs> Do you know that performance yesterday is it <laughs> were just not acceptable. It weren't acceptable from anybody, really, apart from apart from a you know, apart from a couple of players, uh Cole, Liam Roberts, but rest of it were just shambolic. Can't even make him five yard passes. Mm. Every single goal we were there were defensive faults. Mm. So like on like on um like on Tuesday night. Mm. And like Neil Collins alluded to in his in his interview after the game, too many mistakes. We're just giving goals away, mate. We're leaking them, and, and it's silly, silly errors that we're making in defence. Last two games conceded six. Last two games we conceded six, and, and it'd be fair to say that all six of those were and at home as well, not and away at home. Exactly, and could have been avoided. First goal, penalty. Who give it away in midfield? Mm. Kane. Mm. Kane gives it away. Poor pass. Gives it away. They go forward. I'm not going to have a go at new lad for that penalty. One of them. Lad had gone past him. He's tried to make tackle and he's clipped him. It's just one of them. You know mm. what I mean? It won't be the first person to give a penalty away and he certainly won't be the last. Mm. Um, second goal. As that lad, he picked it up on right-hand touchline and he's run through Cadden. He's, he's run through Cadden. The two of them come together, Kitchen and Cadden, to try and squeeze him. He's gone past them both. He's outpaced him and then he's put it in and he's hit Williams and gone in for an own goal. I mean, it literally is like a a catalogue of errors. Hmm. Um, and then third goal, again, just how did, it, how did they get through there? How did they manage to get through? And it was only Liam Roberts stopping Kitchen, doing exactly the same as he did on Tuesday night, giving ball away. Yep. Yeah. In defence, because that were at 2-0 that, wasn't it? Because it should have yep. been 3-0 to them. Yeah. At 2-0, give ball away, the throw on goal, and, fan- and thankfully, Liam Roberts has made a fantastic save, as he did the other night, and stopped it from being 5-6-1 at Could home. Yeah, it could, have, it could have quite easily been more, mate. And, yeah. you know, Oxford looked good for the win. They they, mm. they were a better team by by a considerable distance. Mm. We just looked slow, cumbersome, too many sideways passes. Like you said, Neil Collins constantly gesturing at him in first half to get forward. So it's not tactics. It's not tactics. It's the players on the field. He's, he's, you can see him getting animated and outside to get him to get forward. We well, didn't get third... wins at all. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't attack at pace. Even when we had breaks, we were slowing it down. Is it is it deliberate or is it just lack of quality? Because a lot of the players that played yesterday played last season. Mm. So we lost. You 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 alluded to it yesterday, Neil. On, on you know saying about the um, too many key personnel have gone, and I agree with that. But also, there's still a lot of the core of the team there. We can't mm. have gone. How, how have we gone that bad? Is it? Is it a confidence thing? Is it a morale thing? Is it a bit of everything? I, I don't know, mate. But that were yesterday. That were diabol. It were bordering on diabolical performance and, and mm. just not not acceptable. Um, yeah. Well, when I, yeah, when I said that, afternoon, mate, to say the least, it would just yeah, yeah. Well, when I said two key, two many key person have gone. The key person have gone. I'm not using the word experience because it all gets mis misconstrued and. Twisted round, such as Khalid, when he'll, when you mention all about experience, he'll always twist it and they'll say, Yeah, but we've got a 26 year old who's got like 100 odd games in this league. People want to stop using the word experience, right? What we want, what, what we want to be load, loading to like now is leadership and characters, leaders, and that's what we're missing. Exactly. We're, mi- yeah. we're missing too many leaders, and the leaders are, we all know that Anderson were going fine, not a problem. We already knew that, but Norwood were another key leader. Right, a lot of stuff what he did off the pitch, he knew that he's got the footballing brain. A lot of these kids are looking up for someone like that. I'm seeing on the pitch in, in first half, I'm seeing 
issues going on between Karen and Kitchen, arguing. Always, always there, always there, always left, always that. And I'm thinking, Kitchen, if you're supposed to be the captain, you're supposed to be knowing always doing what, not arguing, toss with someone at left wing back who's playing back. When third mm. goal went in, I thought Colin's going to kick seven bells out at dugout. He was fuming. And yeah. he picked up a yellow card earlier on because of frustrations, you know, when it should have yeah. been a foul and call. So you can tell the passion off the bench. You can tell it's fair. For me, unfortunately, it doesn't seem as if it's on it. I know there's been yeah. certain rumours going about, uh, Ryan, and I'm just going to mention these players because everybody knows about it. They've all seen it in socials and uh, media. So the, the players, what seem for me, you know, Herbie Kane come out and press from uh, Radio Sheffield. you got Liam Kitchen apparently rumoured to be interested in other parties, other clubs. You know, potentially, could Williams be one of them or would he be stopping? I don't know. But for me, two players that I think have been nowhere near, apart from some of the first game against Port Vale, I think Kane and Kitchen have both got the heads not on the football matter at the club. There seems to be too many individual errors. Basic passes are just unaware and they just seem to be disjointed. Unhappiness yeah. here. Yeah, it's not good enough, mate. They're not, they're not, they, they don't look like they're bothered, if I'm being honest. They don't they look like they're not bothered. Whether that's the case or it's just a a lack of morale because they're wanting to move, they, they now think they're too big for this club now, so they want to move away. Um and they think that, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna bother putting a performance in. Because that that whether whether that to be the case or not, that or, or not, that's exactly what it looks like. That's what it looks like. That's what involved. The majority of fans is that they can't be asked because Liam Kitchen last season, although he, he's still a bit, he was still a bit raw. He was always solid. He always put a decent performance in, and yeah, he didn't always get his last pass right when he, you know, when he went up. Would you put that down to playing alongside someone decent as well? Sorry, so that again. I said, would you put back down in playing alongside someone decent as well, which you haven't got back? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it could, it, it could <laughs> well be that. It could well be that. And did Mads? You know, cover for all, but Liam were always good in defense. He's got loads of mm. pace, he'd always get back. Mm. His, his final pass wasn't always there, but he were always trying to do the right thing. And mm. for me, when 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 um when Mads left, I thought it was an absolute show in to be captain because I thought, you know, based on his yeah, manager, past majority yeah. of his performances last season, mm. that he would be the guy to pick up the torch and, and run with it. And he's been anything but that. He's been mm. absolutely dreadful. It looks like, you know. It looks like he's the one that's come from non-league, and Casper's the one that's <laughs> yeah. been here a while. Yeah, because he, he's making error after error after error. Mate, he's and it's not just that; it's not just about his defensive errors that have cost us. You know, in first half, he how many times did he give that ball away trying to give that long ball? Yeah, how many times did he either he either over it, mm. yeah, passed it to nobody, or it would just it would just cut out. Pointless, he's like, uh, up, he's yeah. like about Oxford defence. Yeah. It it would. I don't know, mate. Kane just looks like he's miles off it. It just doesn't look like there's no intensity to play. Um, and it's it's hurting the team. It's hurting the team. I, 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 I'm not going to comment on Jordan Williams because I don't think if he is wanting to move away, then I, I didn't see it in his performance, really, to be fair. He didn't no, look like he was no. sulking. He didn't no. like, uh, you know, and, and same with Callum Styles. You know, we know that Callum apparently has been training really well and he's, put, and he's putting a shift in, but he can't do it all by himself, can he? No, it's true. That's true. I mean, I was going to do a player rating like the last uh, other week. And to be fair, I couldn't do that. And I'm getting onto reasons why. And because I think there were so many lots of performances, like you said, via. Uh, and I've seen it on socials and all. And I, I just don't get this why people are still trying to pick the. I mean, I'm trying to pick positives out of it. I, I am so desperately trying to pick positives out of it. But you've got to be realistic on this, like now, is that people have said. Oh, it's all right, though. We've got Luke O'Connell to come back. We've still got Will. I'm, I'm all right, that's fine. Yep. I love him as a player. He's my favourite player. He's my favourite player at Barnsley. Amazing. But Luke O'Connell in midfield is not going to sort out defensive issues at the back. Yeah. And people say, yeah, but we've got uh, Kundi and McCarthy to come back. That's fine. But then they've got to get up to speed. They've got to get up to tempo. You know, yeah. I felt sorry for that, Digivni. I really, really did. I felt sorry he, for him because them, they were yeah. chucked in at the deep end. Yeah. end. Massively yeah. chucked in at deep end. He'll be fine. So far, I, th right? I think he'll be absolutely fine. But a lot of people are saying he, he, he had a stinker. He didn't. He just made he made some bad challenges. Uh, yeah, and, you know, and I think you know maybe an over eagerness to um, to 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 shine in 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 his first game. Listen, you know what, Ryan? You it's know just what? unfortunate. It's just a coincidence. People give penalties away all the time. We give lots away last season. I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm not so bothered about that. 
it was a bit late. Lad meant most of it, didn't he? But he did clip him. Um, do you know what, Ryan? Do you think because he's a central defender, yeah, that it will like right? We've got a central defender in now. New sign will put him in for starting lineup, and we can get Williams. To, for me, that's wrong because you know, yeah, Williams is not his natural position. But at the end of the day, you can't trick a young lad in it deep and into the league expecting to see it on ground running. But I think that war no. Yeah, well, he could have gone sub. Said, oh, Jack Neil Shepherd, Collins. you was Jack Shepherd. Yeah, Neil Collins said in his uh, in his interview afterwards that he's only had forty five minutes in pre season. Forgive me, but he's picked it. You know, oh. I think this pre season, mate, this poor pre season that we're bad. True, he's having a massive knock on effect at the start of this season. It's going to take whilst you know. Is it going to be while September October before we start actually framing us then, and then we're going to be in the same position as we were all last season? That mm. I mean, to be fair, I'd set playoffs now because I don't think we're going to be at, at this rate. If we continue like this, mate, we'll be mid table at best. Yeah. Listen, we're four games in. Let's not get. Let's not panic. We're not at end of transfer. With no, no, we're either. not panicking. It's but not, you've got to also not, be realistic of what's happening around you, don't you? But those performances that we've seen from you know last half hour uh, away at Bristol after we went one 0 up, mm. the the last half hour against Peterborough and then all of the game yesterday have been woefully, woefully off the pace. Mm. And there's too many defensive errors. And on, on all the, all those occasions against Bristol, Peterborough and, and Oxford, we could have conceded a lot more goals mm. had they been a little bit more clinical or had we not had Liam Roberts playing out mm. of his skin. I don't think we're panicking. I think we're just calling it up what it is because you're looking at results that's yeah. going off around you and you're looking where we are in the table. I mean, the table doesn't lie, does it? You know, we had no. a one-off, seven-out results. You're probably, you know, how long, waiting many a year probably for that to happen again. So, again, first games at season are always hit and miss. Yeah, a feel-good factor. But I think in the same respect as well, could we have been a lot more expectation on that? Could we have built on that? We could look at several scenarios here. You know, could we have used that as a confidence builder? Or, you know... Is it going to be oh, a bit too lax and lazy, you know? But for yeah. me, I don't see that. I just think you treat every team who you play with respect. You look at Wigan, you look at Port Vale now. Since that, I don't think Port Vale have lost a game. You know, they're going on. And you got to... If it's just in this league, come up thick and fast. And you start only drawing or losing, especially two home games, two, two double whammies on bounce at home. Wow, that's... We're going to knock stuff in out of you. Coming up against a very good big side on Saturday, by very the way, who had yeah. Bolton away for a note. <sighs> you know, it's... For me, don't... this is one for you, Ben. Going into that or seeing what you've seen up to now, is it time, and this is probably a controversial one, this, I'm being just to see what people think. We The wingers and Ava is trying to play football because what I'm trying to see is like the wing-backs getting too far forward and leaving gaps at back. Yeah. Is it time to have a look at the formation and go for a, a 4 2 3 1 or something? Or are you going to persevere with this and hope it comes good? <sighs> Probably well, controversial. I think but... it's safe to say, I think it's safe to say that we've seen there's enough evidence in the in the first games that this the way that we're playing at the moment with the wing backs is not working because we're leaving massive gaps down as down as flanks, mm. mate. Right. We're leaving massive gaps down the flanks because they're, they're t- pushing too far forward. They're breaking quickly, and we're leaving massive gaps down down both down both flanks. If you looked at um, the goals that um, that have been scored against us this season, you know uh, Bristol away, no where where would exploited where, where, it, that's nowhere yeah. to be seen. <clears throat> Play, uh, uh, Peterborough's first goal uh, on Tuesday night, massive gap at back. Cadden's on halfway line, just free rein to go down that side and pull it back and for him to stroke it in. It, it's whether it needs a load of work on it from from Collins and his team, um, or whether we go, you know, like 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 you say, like a four four two, or a four two three. So we go four at back, and then we allow the likes of Cadden and and Cotter, if it's going to be that, or uh, you know, to push on and, and do their attacking from the front, and then you've got you know you've got cover at the back at right back and left back. Mm-hmm. But having said that, have we got a left back? Have we got a left back in team? No, because we've recruited. If we've got a left back, now, we need a left, if, if we need a left back, and then we need a left midfielder, don't we? Or a left one? Mm-hmm. Well, if you're going to play a left attacking midfielder or a left winger, whatever you're going to play, mm-hmm. well, we ain't got those players in club at the minute, have we? Because we've no. got Cadden and Charlie Winfield, mm-hmm. and then we've got no after that. Yeah. Well, what you're looking at is then is like position, the recruitment so I don't, side. I don't, so I don't know, Neil. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Um, 
very frustrating afternoon. Mm. Um, I, I don't mind getting beat. You know what I mean? All all teams get beat. Everybody gets beat. It it was the but if you had to be in it, had... the manner in which we got beat, and it's mm. the manner in in the last two games in what in, in I'm what conceding we're... as well. Yeah, the the the, the errors in it's all errors in defence, mate. The, the vast mm. majority of the goals that we're conceding are avoidable. They're avoidable mm. goals. It's not like we've the score world is against us. It's just just a catalogue of uh, of errors in, in the defence, and you know, and Liam Roberts stopping us from losing five or six one at home. Yeah, it's been a saving grace to be fair. Liam I've, Roberts. I saw his, his interview on um, his interview on Football Eleven yesterday. Yeah. Really, it took really accountability, didn't it? He absolutely took accountability, and he was one of the only ones of players that went over and clapped, got in close enough to the fans. Yeah, you know, I stayed. And yeah, I stayed and applauded him. Yeah, he said he seems like he's the most experienced. Twenty nine year old, isn't he? So he's yeah. most experienced dead in there. Mm. You know, I think he's going to have to because he did. He did say in his interview, "We say, you know, I've been in this position before, so mm. I hopefully can you know get out and get yeah. get get the dressing room going again. Maybe he needs to be in it. You know, he needs to be that person." Yeah, you never know. They need, like they, they need a rocket up their ass because, yeah, like you said, these games come at you thick and fast. And we're now on four points from four games, which is not brilliant after a seven nil win. Mm. Um, no, no winning three. Conceded six at home in the last two, and now we've got Wigan away. Who scored ten points in the league, and they've just gubbed mm. Bolton who were top at league four nil away <laughs> oh, at their spot. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, but as, think about as, as, as football as football will, but we'll probably go there and gub them. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, way, it's just the crazy <laughs> game that we love, isn't it? But um, it needs sorting fast. I, I think it's easy to jump to saying we need signings. We do need signings, that's, but that's not an excuse for the performance yesterday from those players. You know, we have got very good players within that team. We've got very mm. good players in that team. It's just not as a group collectively. They're not playing well. No. Um, like you said, Liam Kitchen and 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 Cadden falling out, and that's not the first time I've seen that this season. They were mm. doing it other night as well. After yeah. Peter's first goal, they were they, they were uh, they, they were going at each other after Peter was first goal other night. Mm. Um, so there's definitely something needle in there within the squad. We need to be a cohesive team, you know. And if Kitchen and Kane, as much as I like them both, and much as I think they're both great players for us, they're not pulling. They're not. They're not performing at the moment. And if the heads are in it. Then either either we do cash in on them, or we take them out of the firing line for a little bit. If 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 the chairman's saying or or the owners are saying they're not going this window, then they're not going this window. Mm, mm. But does that mean we have to keep playing them if they're performing like they're performing? Yeah, you got to come out of firing line, reassess you it. Them out of firing, so yeah. We just need to get, get them sat down and say, look, this is yeah, not happening. Get it sorted here, in it because you know need to take a fir- I, I take a firm stance on it or cash in on it and reinvest that into the squad, but. Good the reinvestment point, yeah. in the problem with that is Neil is it's all right saying that because that's logic that's a logical thing to say. But the reinvestment in the squad yeah. this season has been majority non-league. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah, I mean, we got a week to come up. I mean, a lot of things to be working on training pitch. I know Liam Roberts uh, alluded to that uh, when he said on uh, on radio Monday morning. Get back, analyze it, get put put things back to rights. Um, and I agree with you on that. Would have been any a couple of well, a couple will be any additions, you know, one or two additions to the side. It's got to um, and again, it needs to be very, very careful and very thoughtful the, the next few additions, if there's any, which there's always rumors there's, got, there's days left, isn't there? But yeah, I think there's a lot of work to be put on, uh, put put in, sorry. Collins again, all intentions of here, but he needs the tools to work with. Um, I think you know, the little, I mean. The winning thing is from seeing Kitchen and Karen doing it, you know, arguing of it, always picking up, or was it against something else that needs to be identified and worked on in training and get it sorted out for match day. Uh, so everybody, because I'm seeing that there and I'm thinking, right, what I, what have we not understanding? What has been failed or what we're not picking up from carrying it through for training? And again, for me, identify that, deal with it. Let's go into it match day so everybody knows the position, the role, what we're going to do and take it to the game and not be found wanting like we have been. Uh, so yeah, Wigan coming up. We get on about Wigan for a week. Uh, do another video on that. But yeah, the reason I was going to do a, a a player rating, and to be fair, I, apart from who oh, weren't running for it, I think Liam Roberts, Devante Cole, and probably Cotter when he came on it second half. 
I thought well, Marshy, I think Marshy did well when he came on as well. Actually. Marshy did well, yeah. He set up well with a, a great cross ball through for uh, Devante Cole. Missed it by yeah. probably a cigarette paper kind of thing. <laughs> uh, again, he, yeah, he looked lively, Marshy. Yeah, so I, I agree he's got, with I think that. he's got a point to prove this year because he's, 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 he's been given a year extension, hasn't he? And I think yep. he, you know, and it's, it's his club that he's grown up with. It's his hometown club. I think he's got a point to prove. He looked, yeah, he looked hungry he for looked it. Sharp, and, mate. and he got a, a great reception as well when he came on, you know, a great applause when he came on. So he's loved by yeah. the fans. But I'm going to get to my man at match, you know, and people say, oh, nobody had been in the all this and over. But again, my man at the match, well, Liam Roberts. Yeah, his distribution at times kicking weren't great, but I'm looking at the overall picture what he's trying to do. You know, he he pulled off some good saves. It could have been worse. Some outstanding he's, saves, right? He's, he's trying to take accountability and responsibility for stuff. Every every game where I've seen him up to now is always via, the, you know, the players are applauding. I always stand, I always stay to end, good, bad, indifferent, whatever. And, you know, Players were half out of the game, a clap and went. I had it same back, but then you saw Liam Roberts. See what all the moment really came like. He said to front, applauded. He could tell, he could tell. And I'm like, yeah, do you know what? You're gonna get, you're gonna get applause off me, mate, because you're only one that's really come up to us and like acknowledged it. You know, even though the body at fault for any, I don't think he was. To be fair, you know, no. it was like you know defence in front, what was causing it. So for me, my man at match was uh, Liam Roberts, Ryan. Probably same field. I don't know, mate. Probably, yeah. You know, or, or Cole. I think Cole put a really good performance in. I think he put a really good shift in. He was mm. trying to make things happen. Uh, yeah. Again, you don't always get it right, Devante, but, you know, he's, he's popped up with a goal again. That's four in four in the league. Um, that's really good. You know, on the strength of it, that's really good form. Um, he very nearly had it. You know, he very nearly had a couple more. Um, you know, we mentioned earlier about the positives out of the game. I think one of the positives out of the game is that Devante looks confident. Um, you know, that he very nearly got on the end of that one for Marshes. He, got, he mm. got that break, and it looked, I mean, to be fair, he, he broke at pace, he did everything right. Keeper just made a really good save. I mean, yeah. he could maybe could have gone to the other side, but he, you know, I think he probably had that cover, that angle covered, so he, he went for power. And Keeper's made a, a fantastic save, so that's the positive. And like Liam Roberts's performance, um. He's outstanding, mate. So that, that save that he made from that header that he just tipped over. I mean, that's just that's that's a really it's, you know, as, as a goalkeeper, that's a that's a tough skill. That's a tough yeah. thing to get right. The the reaction speed to get up there and the the you know the, the hand strength to tip that over bad, it's it's outstanding. Mm -hmm. So there are some minor positives to take out of the game. I suppose you've got to. Um, but we need <laughs> it needs to get a lot better. Otherwise, we're gonna gonna Tear as a new one, mate. Yeah. Um, and again, it's just what our thoughts are. And your, you know, your comments agree, disagree. We all we try to be respectful. We haven't really slated any yeah. players. It's not fair on slating players. They don't purpose go out to play bad. But when if you're not morale's down and confidence is not being your head's not in the right place, then again, that's when you need to be looking at the things above that outside and higher up in football to help these lads out because a lot of them are young. And like we just touched on there, that Liam Roberts is probably the senior one at 29 year old. So he's been very done that. He might begin talking to some lads as well. So again, a lot of things awesome. in football, yeah. you know, a lot of things in football. A few positives, a few minor positives, like what Ryan said, but on all, a bit of a lackluster performance. If I'm, you know, and I'm not being disingenuous with that, I don't think a lackluster performance. Um, willing to see a lot of uh, fans going all when, when, when goals went in, you know. But again, that's the uh, fans' frustrations, you know, and be. We can see it from a distance, so all being well, yeah. then my up in board. If they want to go, it's 88 minutes, third one's gone in, performance is not there, it's going to go. Pay the money. Yeah, yeah, pay the money. Pay, pay the money. Go. That's their, that's their way tickets, of saying, I've had enough. Yeah. Yeah, I've that's, true, that's true, that's true. They've probably paid the money, gone to the fan zone, uh, bought drinks and that in, in foyer, in stands and that, they've paid the idea of money for that and, and to see that, so yeah, but they've got every right to do stuff like that. I'm, People and anybody saying, "Oh no, we should stay about energy." No, you, you do what you see in fate. Nobody can tell you what to do. Nobody yeah. can tell you what not to do. And that's what we. That's what like what me and it's Ryan very rare. Really. I leave early, but some you know yesterday. Some do, and you, you and think, I, "Yeah, I, fair I, enough." I, I had enough yesterday, and uh, you know, and that's and that's it. It's very, very, very rare. I leave early, but yeah, I don't have a problem with people leaving. If they want to go, they no. want to go. I, I, exactly. It's one easy to be honest. Just enough. One, yeah. one of the lads, uh, there's one a couple of lads that sit in front of me with season ticket. Very passionate. 
they'd had enough at 61 minutes and got up. Yeah. He, 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 were proper, he were proper upset with Paul. Mm. They were right upset. And at 61 minutes, he goes, right, I've seen enough. And that's it. <laughs> and that's and it. That's, listen, yeah. if he wants to do that, he's, he's that's his own. to do that. Of course he is. And as it turned out, he was right in the end, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, of course he is, and he's missed out on all traffic and all, so fair, fair, fair play to it, lad. But yeah, uh, every, every fan's got their own opinion and their own right to do what they want to do. So anybody what like comments and said, well, well, all these, because I'll get I'll probably odd one or two messages and said, oh, no, you should should have gone, you shouldn't be doing this. Should... Every fan is entitled to do what they want. They've all paid their own money. They're entitled to do yeah. what they want, so long as it's respectful. And if you, it means you'll get up and go in, you'll get up and go. I'm not saying anything about that. You do what you want to do, and I think that's what we've always like said on this channel. Be respectful. Nobody can tell you what to do and what not to do. You just go with the flow. And if you and your own beliefs think you want to do that, fine, you'll go with it. Yeah. So yeah, Ryan, appreciate you taking your time out and joining us. Uh, well. Unfortunately, it won't to win, but you know we weren't talking about that. But all being well, we can sort sort that out and address it for the game coming up. So yeah, appreciate it, Ryan. Have a good one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Good luck for lionesses. Let's, uh, good luck for lionesses. Let's do it. Um, let's all be win. Absolutely, I'm, I'm, re- I'm looking forward to it. All being well as we can, can get a bit we- uh, better with uh, lionesses win for England. So uh, <laughs> yeah, enjoy your rest of your week and what's left in it. Um, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>